Hi, my name is Colleen Ivancic, and I'm going to be your instructor for managerial accounting this summer. So welcome to Business 132. I just wanted to kind of walk you through the layout of the class um, because it's going to be really important for you lo to log in right away on, on Tuesday and kind of look around and get comfortable with uh, where to find things in the class because we are going to be covering 12 weeks over this eight week uh, course. And so we need you to just dive into the material right away. We're going to be covering first two chapters in week one, and, and they are introductory, but, um, you know, we don't have any time to waste. We, we, we need to get going and, and get right into the material. So when you log into our course on D2L, this is where you'll see us the course homepage, and here's where the um, course announcements will be. I will email you the course announcements as well. It's going to be really important for you to be checking your um, Prairie State email. If you have any trouble issuing it, uh, you can contact ITR. They're uh, really good about helping students get into their email. Usually it only takes a couple of minutes for them to, to get you into your email. I will be emailing you uh, feedback on uh, your work each week, so it, it will be good for you to be checking um, your Prairie State email. Also on this home page, you'll see the calendar, so you'll be able to see the upcoming due dates. The due dates are listed in several places, so um, it's really easy for you to know when things are due. Um, so when you come into the course um, each week, what you're going to want to do is go to the content tab. And so when you go in, when you first get into the course on Tuesday, go to the content tab. If we go down the line, the table of contents, the first thing we have is the calendar so again here's all the due dates just listed in another format um, beneath the calendar of due dates is the getting started tab so this is what you're going to need to read right away on tuesday um, so this is going to give you kind of your orientation to the course before you get in and start doing the week one work so if you kind of just scroll down and just go each click and read this will tell you all of the tasks to get started, right? So you should be doing these tasks on the first day because then you got to get right into the week one work. Uh, the getting started plus the week one work are, are all going to be done in this first uh, week that ends on, on June, June 3rd. And so we can just kind of hit the, the next and go to the next thing here. We've got the syllabus. And so you can go through and you can read all of the information, um, course policies, etc. Here's all the important dates. Again, another place to see the dates. These are your exam dates, right? And then kind of just get an overview of the course expectations, grading scale, um, how the grade is calculated. That's usually important to a lot of students. And then again, we got another course calendar, right? So there's a lot of places for you to, to see when things are due. It's really not a mystery. Um, and I tell students, if you don't like to read, you're expected to be reading everything on this page. Um, if you don't like to read, an online class is probably not for you. Uh, there are videos and so forth in the course, but you, I'm not going to be meeting in class, right, for me to tell you all the information. Uh, there is a good amount of reading that needs to happen. Um, so you can just go through and, and click keys to success in an online class um, if you've never taken one before. This one I really like here. I have compiled some advice from students on you know, what they learned through the class, what it took for them to be successful. Um, it's not an easy class. They will tell you you have to make a time commitment. Um, but these are students who, who, who were successful in the class, made it all the way through to the end. <laughs> Excuse me, um, a, a good number of students do get A's and B's in this class. Um, definitely um, doable, and uh, more importantly to me, is a lot of them will tell me that they feel like they've learned a lot and they understand uh, more about their job if they are working in the field, um, you know, or, or working as a manager of some sort um, because of what they learned in this class. So go ahead and, and click through all of these and get all this information. Okay, um, so that that'll be important. Um, you will one of the tasks that you need to do this week is the introduction. So you need to post an introduction. This is how you'll you'll meet everyone in the class, um, and that's kind of important um, because 
uh, we do need to have a sense of community for, in order for you to feel, you know, engaged in the class. And it is always good for me to see students interacting. I sometimes have students that even decide to form study groups after they have chatted on the discussion board. So, um, so get in and get engaged and meet your students with that. Here's some information on my accounting lab. Um, so we will be completing homework in my accounting lab. Um, part of each exam is going to be done in my accounting lab. So you can't pass this class if you don't have it. Uh, I'm sorry, I know it's expensive. Um, you, you, there's a few different ways that you can get access to my accounting lab. Um, you can get two weeks free access to my accounting lab. So even if you don't have the money right away, you have two weeks to get the money together to get your access to my accounting lab. So here's some information about my accounting lab, um, just so that I can show you. If you get your access through the PSC bookstore, um, the access code will come with instructions, and those instructions are going to tell you to access my accounting lab from the Pearson website. I don't want you to do that, and actually you can't do that. What you need to do is you need to go to the bottom of our homepage, and you're going to click on this green Pearson logo, and that's going to take you, I'm, I'm already registered, obviously. The very first time you click on it, if you just click anywhere, it'll take you to a screen where you can start entering your registration information. So you can register, and then there'll be a screen you can either put in your access code or you can click to get temporary access, one or the other, but you should be doing that on Tuesday as soon as you get into the class. And so you can get right in to uh, the My Accounting Lab. And then after that, uh, you don't have to enter your registration anymore. Always then when you come back in and click again on this Pearson logo, that'll take you right to either the course homepage or to the assignment page. So that's really important. So again, the content page is where you're gonna wanna be going every week. After the My Accounting Lab, you can see there's a tab for this water cooler forum. And this is just a place for you to ask general course questions. So if you have something specific about your situation, let's say your grade, um, that is something that you should email to me. But if you just want to ask me a question about, um, you know, variable costs, a question you had about variable costs, or just a question about how to navigate the class, that would be a good thing to just post to this water cooler forum. Because if one of your classmates logs in before I do, they'll answer your question. You'll get your answer question sooner. Also, I like, if I'm giving the information to one person, I like everybody to have that information. So I'd rather just answer the question here on the water cooler forum. If it's a general course question or a general question about the material, that would benefit everybody. This is a good place to, to go with it rather than emailing me. Um, but then each week, you're gonna go to the week tab. So as I said, you're gonna go through the getting started tab and read all of that. And then you're gonna come to the week one tab. Right, all of this does need to get done the first week. And so here we can see um, that the, the two chapters we're gonna cover, chapters one and two, and you're gonna wanna go right to this week one overview tab. And here I give you an introduction to what we're gonna be covering this week. Here I show you all the learning objectives that you're going to meet during the week. And then here's a list of the tasks. And so you can see some of them are reading, reviewing, using study tools. I see a lot of students tend to skip these and they just go to the, the, the doing type tasks, so posting, completing. Um, and that may work on a, you know, a particular week, uh, going straight to the My Accounting Lab because there are a lot of tools. Um, you can click and get help me solve this and, and so forth. And then because I allow unlimited attempts, if you're working on My Accounting Lab and you don't like your score on a problem, you can do another problem. Um, and so maybe you can get decent scores on my accounting lab, but you're probably not going to be learning the theory and you may have trouble with the exams if you don't do this reading and studying part. You can see the due dates and then we can see the resources. So here I've got um, lecture notes. Um, and so you can click on these and it's a Word document. A lot of students tell me that they print it out and they kind of refer to it and, and make additional notes as they're reading the chapter. And then I do have um, videos. And so if you click on a video, um, here I have recorded information about um, all of the chapter topics. 
So a lot of my students find these very useful. And so I recommend you at least check them out. Um, some students skip them. And then after a couple of weeks, they're telling me they're struggling in the class. And once they start watching the videos, things get better. So I would check them out from the, the beginning and avoid the struggling piece. And so here you can see we've got a discussion this week. We've got the My Accounting Lab vocab assignments, and we do have a quiz this first week. As I said, we're jumping right into the material. So if you can go back to the content page, right, there were descriptions on the overview page, but this is where we can actually access the, the discussion, right? And so there's all the information about the discussion. Um, on the Getting Started tab is the rubric that we're gonna use. It needs to be a thorough response um, so you post a response to the question, you respond to other students, um, their answers, and it needs to be a substantive response. A good post or you helped me learn um, isn't going to score you very many points, right? You need to really be saying something in your posts. Right? And then the week wrap up is where I kind of summarize what we've done and kind of bridge us to the next week. Um, the other thing I want to show you is the vocab assignments that we're going to be doing. If you go to the assessment and then click on quizzes, okay, so um, here we are having an actual quiz on uh, chapters one and two. That is going to be due um, the first week. But the vocab assignments are listed on the quizzes page, but they aren't quizzes. These are considered assignments. And so if you click on one of these start quiz, but it's not a quiz, it counts as an assignment. These are just going to be matching and students who, you know, do these, you know, with their textbook in front of them, um, do really well. Some are using search engines because they didn't get the book. They have a hard time with it. It's really not recommended to take this class without a book because it's online. You're not even getting instruction really. Um, I think I already mentioned, if you don't like to read, it's probably not good to take to take an online class because you really do have to be doing some reading to get the material. Um, so I hope this navigation helps. Of course, I will answer more questions as we go, but hopefully this gets you started. And um, I, again, I look forward to working with you um, this summer.